Hello. Hello and welcome to Explore Home Repeat. My name's Matt and I'm Izzy and today we are at Centre Parks. We've been waiting so long to come here. Yeah, I'm so excited. We're at the Woburn Centre Park, so hopefully we can show you our little lodge. Yeah, so this is a woodland lodge. So in actual fact, this is kind of, I think, the, the bottom of the range in terms of lodges. This is our lodge. We're in the pine area. So all of the lodges are split up into kind of areas named after trees, pine, maple, oak, yeah. that sort of thing. So we're at 137. It is adjoined to another, I think both yeah, sides. Both sides. But it's very, very well done in that you don't really notice anyone next to you. Just outside the lodge, right near kind of where your front door is, there's loads of bike racks. There's also automatic lighting so that when you walk down to the lodge, it all turns on automatically. Keys at Centre Parks are just these bands yeah. that they assign to you when you first turn up. And that gets you into the lodge and also acts as your locker key if you go to the swimming pool, sort of swimming water park area kind of come straight into the living area. So you've got your kitchen on the left over here and a big kind of sofa area um, with your TV. There's a nice area, dining table here with this beautiful kind of mural on the wall. One thing I really do love about, I think pretty much all the Centre Park Lodges is they always have a big blackboard and they kind of welcome you to Centre Parks when you get here, but they give you a load of chalk and a rubber and you can just draw whatever you want on it. So kids would probably love that. So you can personalize your lodge. Yeah, absolutely. In the living area, obviously we said you do have a TV, but below it is a log burner. You don't get any logs, you have to kind of buy them separately. But to be fair, it's quite warm in these places anyway, so I think it's more for the look. So here's the kitchen area, which is part of the living space. So you have got oven and hob, microwave, there is a dishwasher, uh, storage sort of bins under the sink, um, all the kind of cutlery, uh, plateware, all of that you'd expect. One thing to note, the fridge is small, but a decent size. You can get a fair amount in there. As we mentioned, this is a three bedroom woodland lodge and this is the main master bedroom. So it's a really good size, loads of nice lighting, big mirror to kind of make it feel bigger um, and loads of kind of storage, to be honest. So you've got these big wardrobes either side of the bed. They're quite tall as well, yeah. almost go to the ceiling. In the corner, you've got kind of a little sort of vanity area, kind of dressing table. There's a little stool, hairdryer is included. Uh, ignore this, this is our grow egg for the baby. It tells us the temperature of the room. You have then also got a TV on the wall in this master bedroom. Um, that's just got kind of standard free view channels and things like that. This master bedroom in this three bed lodge has got an ensuite bathroom. So it's got a shower, big, big shower cubicle. with kind of only a small little lip to kind of step into. Then just your standard kind of sink and loo. Huge, great big mirror with razor charging point. One thing I do like about Centre Parks is they have these great big uh, towel rails and throughout the rest of the lodge, apart from in these bathrooms, I think it's all underfloor heating as well. So that's really nice as well. Coming from the living space and kitchen area, we go into the first of the two other bedrooms. So this is a twin room. Again, decent size, kind of plenty of space around, absolutely. But it's very much the same as the master bedroom, really, just with two twin beds. Go back out into the kitchen and turn right, and here is kind of what would probably be the main family bathroom. So this one has a bath with a shower over the top of it. But again, it's very, very similar in layout, really. Apart from that, you've got another door here into the second of the twin room. So again, it's, a, it's a, a mirror image of that first twin room, exactly the same. Last of all is the outside area. So you do have these big patio doors, a really good solid lock on them. So I don't think the kids will be getting out easily. Quite stiff to open the door, but once you do go out, you've got a big kind of table area, plenty of, of seating, 
and a barbecue area. Now every single lodge appears to have, as far as we can see, a barbecue area like this. So that's our tour of the lodge over. What do you think in general? Yeah, it's, it is a really good like property. Uh, there's a lot of space. Yeah, a couple of little things that we sort of picked up on. Uh, the bedding and just the beds, pillows, that sort of thing, not great. I felt the, the sheets were really sort of hard and crispy and the pillows a bit lumpy. Um, only other thing was, I guess, the carpets and the sofa are looking a little bit tired, little bit grubby. Um, but apart from that, they're really, really nice, lovely and warm, really good sort of sound insulation. You never hear the neighbours at all. So really, uh, definitely worth coming even to the lower end woodland lodges. Right, now that's the tour of the lodge over, we're gonna throw in a load of footage from our sort of week throughout the park, going around all the different facilities, the pool, uh, and we'll give you our review of the sort of holiday uh, at the end of this video. Just to give you an idea of the kind of ground floor of the, the plaza area, so you've got Starbucks on the left just over here. There's then a really big jewels shop over there, loads of nice clothes. This refresh is a kind of ice cream and donut parlor. I think they do coffees and things. This is the entrance to the sports cafe over here. Uh, the booking point is over here is where you kind of can get all your sports equipment and book activities so you can hire rackets and pool cues and things like that. Here's the activity den and there's a couple of pottery studios, a crafting room over in the distance here and then this is all the main area for the sports activities. It is impressive in here isn't it? Yeah it's really good, there's so much to do. So this is the waterfront area. So you see behind Izzy, this is where you can hire the boats from. There's also the action challenge in the background, which is kind of like a treetop kind of adventure climbing thing. There's a big zip line. And then over, what have we got over in the corner? I think we've got the pancake house and like the boat house. So that's where you like rent the boats and rent other bits and pieces. Yeah, there's loads of information about the water sports hire. And just to give you some idea of the prices, electric boats are four seater for half an hour, 26 pounds and a six seater, 30 pounds. Things like kayaks, 11 pounds for a single seater and a rowing boat, 15 pounds 20, but it does have up to four people. This is the village. You can see the subtropical swimming paradise entrance is just here. You've got a Malfi Italian restaurant up the top there. There's then aquatic swimming pool sort of supplies. Around the front here, this is where the sort of front of that big main swimming area is. Then over this side, you've got kind of cafes, uh, boutiques and restaurants. So we've got Cafe Rouge, this storeroom, offers kind of uh, lifestyle gift souvenirs. There's then a big toy shop next to it, a Starbucks. Further up is uh, Huck's Bar and Grill. And then up here, right up the top, on this top floor is the Tempin Bowling kind of area. There's another sort of bar up there as well. So this village area is really nice. There's kind of, specifically during the day, there's a really nice kind of atmosphere. There's sort of a nice big Starbucks toy shop. So look, that nice little gift shop's nice yeah. as well. We did get our first like gift for Sienna. Yeah, a little Christmas decoration uh, with her name on. So now we're off to Amalfi, the Italian restaurant, for some lunch. So one thing that's kind of a little highlight in this Amalfi restaurant is the fact they've got windows through to the swimming area. Really up high, so you get a view all across kind of the wave pool. You can see the flumes, the kids' pool everywhere. One thing that is really good here at Centre Parks is all the signage. Quite often tell you kind of 
where to go, but how long it's gonna take you to walk there. Obviously a lot of people cycle either by renting bikes at the cycle center or bringing their own, but make sure you follow those signs because everywhere kind of looks a bit the same when you're in and around the kind of accommodation areas. So we are home now after our week away at Centre Parks. That was a really good trip, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. First holiday with the baby. Amazing. So in general, I think all the facilities were really good. That plaza area, that was really great. We spent a lot of time there. Yeah, we did. I think that's with the sports bar area, the badminton, you know, jewels shop. It was really good. Yeah, uh, the sports cafe as well. Food, not always the best. The burgers were good, but the, the breakfast I was a bit disappointed with. But a great atmosphere in there. Loads of screens to watch sport, if that's your kind of thing. We played plenty of pool. Uh, really great kind of hub, that whole plaza area. Uh, the village and the subtropical paradise, kind of the swimming area, that was brilliant. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the highlights, really. If you've got kids or, or it's just adults, just go and enjoy the pool. Yeah, absolutely. Loads of stuff to do in that pool area. Lazy River, flumes, really quite adult flumes as well. Some of them were pretty full on, weren't they? Yeah, uh, I didn't go on one of them. I refused to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there were the wave pool and loads of stuff for little kids as well. So really great for all ages. And at the village, there's then there loads of restaurants, 10 pin bowling. I really enjoyed our meal in Amalfi, the Italian restaurant. Yeah, it was really good. It was quite quiet in there. You didn't need to book. We went out of like school holidays, yep. but um, it was quite empty and the service was great too. I think that's one thing to say. If you can go out of school holidays, then do. Because I think the prices, as with all of these things, rocket at kind of school holidays in the summer and things like that. One thing to keep in mind with Centre Parks, and it's kind of a little bit what it's sort of infamous for, I would guess, is that there are loads, and I mean hundreds, of other activities that you can do. Everything from archery, segway tours, that sort of go ape, a treetop adventure thing with the zip wire we saw, but they do all cost extra money. The only thing that's really included is that swimming yeah. pool. All in all, it was about £523, I think, we paid for five uh, nights in a three-bedroom woodland lodge at the start of October. And again, that is where the whole thing can become really kind of quite good value, is if you have a large lodge, split it between a few of you, and if you can go out of school holidays, it can shoot up to kind of in excess of one and a half thousand pounds during the summer holidays. So it was a really great week at Centre Parks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.